and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm in full Christmas soap making mode. I'm going to be making a frankincense and myrrh. This is from Be Scented. Um, I didn't see any reviews on this so I'm really hoping it behaves. Uh, it says it doesn't have any discoloration, it doesn't have vanillin in it, but it smells really good. Um, it's such a nice fragrance. I think frankincense and myrrh has a little bit of a medicinal sort of vibe to it, but it's, it's good. And we all know the story around Christmas time and the gifts given to the baby Jesus and I just love it. I love a good nativity scene, the whole nine yards love. So I was thinking about that and uh, of course in the Bible, the color purple is a color of royalty. And so I'm gonna be using this color. Uh, it's called Purple Galaxy Mica from Wholesale Supply Plus and I just thought that was rich and beautiful. So I'm gonna do a little purple swirl in here and I'm thinking about doing a mica line instead of a swirl. So I will split this up and I will do a Shimmer Gold Mica. This is Nurture Soaps Shimmer Gold um, and it's gorgeous. This is my go-to Shimmer Gold Mica from them. Uh, so I will do a mica line with this and probably do a little bit of the gold on top and do something just really pretty on top. I want it to look like a purpley, just royal, lovely soap coming into Christmas time. Um, yeah, I love pretty much everything about this. So that's what's going on there. It will be a goat milk and oil soap today. So I'm going to get everything pulled together and prepped and ready to go. And let's come back and make some frankincense and myrrh Christmas inspired soap. It's additives time. Here's my oils and butters all melted and ready to go. And to that, I'm going to put my goat milk, which I have discounted from my lye solution. So the goat milk goes in. And now the dry additives, which is my colloidal oats, two tablespoons of colloidal oats, two tablespoons of kale and clay, and two tablespoons of heavy cream powder. There we go. Let's get this all blended in. Let these absorb while my lye solution cools, and then we'll come back and start layering up. It's time to add the lye solution, which has Tussa silk fibers, cane sugar, and sodium lactate mixed in here. Uh, and I am going to hand stir this to emulsion and then split off for the colors because I've not worked with this fragrance before and I couldn't find good reviews on it. So I'm just going to proceed cautiously. The fragrance is in here though. So uh, yeah, hand stirring and then we will stick blend each uh, color, you know, as needed. So let's get that going. Um, it's a very light scent right now. I'm really hoping it sticks around in this soap. It's light, so um, if you like that, if you like a very light fragrance, this would be wonderful. Thank you. 
All right, so for those of you that I frustrated a lot <laughs> with my sweet mint video and I did the Scoopy twist top, I'm going to attempt it here today uh, because my camera died on that soap and I had a lot of questions, how did you make it? So what I do is I take my little baby spoon and I'm gonna use the pointy end. You could use anything, but this is just the nice size that I like. And uh, we'll just come in here and it's a modified scoop with a little bit of a twist at the top and it just makes a really pretty scoopy top so let's just do it and i have had to wait a few uh probably five minutes for this to sort of firm up a little otherwise your peaks won't stand and they're still a little soft All right, it's the next day and I cannot wait to get in here and see how the layers and the swirls came out. Isn't that pretty? I did steam the top this morning. It did not have soda ash, but it was a little dull and I wanted this to be sparkly and you know, all the good stuff. So let's get in here and see what we've got going on the inside. I'm back with the lovely Olga and I want to give an update on the strings being tight. I've been keeping the tension on them and so far it's going great. I have not had any broken strings and I just need to make sure they're tightened up when I come in to cut. So that's been going great. I am loving the colors on these and the little, little splashes of gold. These are making me happy. Um, I also wanna say, when I used this fragrance oil, um, it was very faint smelling, but it did bounce back. These have a very light fragrance. Uh, it's not overpowering, that frankincense and myrrh scent, but it is there, um, and I think it's very nice. So it's definitely unisex, it's light, it's not gonna be an overwhelming bar, which I think is rather nice. So not everybody likes to be knocked out with fragrance. All right. Oh, these are speaking of frankincense, myrrh, royalty, gold, all the good stuff. It's evoking kind of, I don't know if it's evoking nativity vibes, but I'm loving it. <laughs> so let's just roll with that. I like how that swirl came out in the tops. So cute, that little twisty top. I'm loving that. ready to stamp here and I wanted to talk through something. I get questions on 
I don't know if you can pick it up, but wires are so bumpy on the top here. And this is, comes from a wire cutter. So there's some things you can do. I wanted to just show you. This is the outside of the soap that was on the flat silicone mold. Look how shiny that is. And you can see the shine on the bevel there and also on the bottom. So if you like that shine, one of the things that you can do is have a planing tool. This has a very sharp blade. Um, you can find these on Etsy, Amazon. I got this one on Amazon. Etsy has some really beautiful, like full acrylic ones. Um, it does have little corner beveling things, but I don't like this. So that's what some people do. If you see like the really glossy soaps where it's really high shine glossy all the way around, um, they've probably been plain. It looks fantastic. But personally, I don't like to waste the soap just for the aesthetic. So I, I think these little bumpies and stuff, this is a homemade product, handcrafted. I think it's beautiful. And I would rather have the user get all that soap rather than plain it off. But I just wanted to address that. So if you like the super shine, there's something you can do. You could also try steaming, but that won't flatten out the bumps. It'll put a gloss on it, but it won't flatten it out. So the only way to get the super flat is to do the planing. And that's there if you like it. So just wanted to talk about that. Now I'm gonna to get to stamping all the rest of these. If you've enjoyed today's video, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe so you don't miss a thing going on in the soap studio. And thanks for watching.